A swap meeting is where you meet up with people selling to the same market. So for us, I used to have a swap meet once a month. One was with an accounting firm, so main partner from an accounting firm, the main partner from a law firm, and the main partner from a big general insurance practice. Each of us just had to bring five leads that we would give to the others. I leave there with 15 leads. Now I go back and I'll phone Peter. Hi, Peter. This is Frank Furness. I was given your name by your accountant. I don't know if there are any areas of common interest. What I'd like to do is just get together with you and see if there's anything we can do to help each other. Not I want to come and sell you. Clubs and social activities. I love clubs and social activities. Now, there's only two kinds of people I've always loved to sell to. Wealthy people and business owners. Where do you meet them? I arrived over here. Where do I meet wealthy people? Well, the first thing is they play golf. So I joined a golf club. I love cricket. I'm a cricket fanatic. So I joined Stanmore Cricket Club. I come in with this weird accent and they don't even speak to me for a month. But one great thing happened. After the first week, they said, listen, we need someone to coach the five-year-olds at cricket. So me, me, me. You don't need to be a brain surgeon to coach a five-year-old at cricket. You throw the ball, they hit it. Well done. <laughs> Coaching a five-year-old. But every Friday night, 8.30, I've got about 86 sets of wealthy parents. How's my little Johnny doing? Great. How's Mikey doing? Coming on nicely. You make a friend, they get to like you, they get to trust you, and you do business. Another thing, has anyone heard of Toastmasters International? Anyone belong to Toastmasters? Toastmasters is the biggest non-profit self-development organization in the world. It teaches you speaking skills. For 13 years, I was involved in South Africa, came over to London. I said, can I form a club in Watford, where I live? I said, sure. What kind of people need to improve their speaking skills? CEOs, business owners, people that have got to stand up and speak. Within two months, I had 40 CEOs with me. So business clubs are great. Periodicals and magazines. This is one of my biggest drivers over here. How do you create your brand? Well, you know, there's 7,000 magazines in the UK, all looking for articles. All of us should be writing articles. Not articles about our business, but articles about how we can solve problems for wealthy people. I went to the Financial Times some years ago, and I said, can I do an article for you? They said, no. Well, we're in the business of rejection, so I sent it anyway. Well, for the next two years after that, I had my own column in International Financial Advisor. went out to 42 countries. They didn't pay me, but that kind of advertising you can't buy. I then went on to another one, International Wealth Management. The same kind of thing. We've got to think how you can build your brand. What kind of magazines can you get it into? Just recently I spoke in Dubai, sitting on the airplane, and I see a magazine there in Dubai. I have a look at the editor's name. And when I get there, I phoned him and I said, listen, I'd like to do an article for your magazine. He said, how much are you going to pay us? I said, I was just thinking about asking you the same question. Silence on the other side. And that's just come out now. Cost me nothing. Got my own column in that magazine. We've got to build our exposure all over the place. There's easy ways to do it.